Hi, I'm Paweł Spechalski and yes, I know what some of you are thinking. That this video is irrelevant because the process of updating the firmware on the TBS Tracer is exactly the same like the process of updating the firmware on the TBS Crossfires and everybody knows that and yeah. No, not everybody knows that. Yes, it's almost the same, but not everybody has Crossfire. Not everybody knows how to update the firmware on the Crossfire and that Plus, not everybody knows how to update the firmware on the Tracer. So, what we gonna do today? Today, we will take one TBS Tracer transmitter module and one TBS Tracer receiver module, which is connected to this universal board I'm using for the, something different. And I will show you how to update the firmware on the transmitter and on the receiver so you have the best flying experience with the Tracer. The process of running firmware updates on almost any of the Team Black Ship products is to have the application called the TBS Agent X and the account on the TBS Cloud. If you do not have it yet and you do not have the TBS Agent X, download the application for either Windows or Mac OS, there is unfortunately no version for the Linux, and create the account on the TBS cloud. After this and after installing the TBS Agent X, we can launch the application. Bear in mind that you have to you have to log into your account on the TBS and uh, unfortunately you have to have the account on the TBS to be able to do that. After the application starts and you logged in, you will see all the devices that previously were connected to your account on the TBS cloud. And now, and now we can proceed with the update. To do it, you basically only have to take the USB-C cable and plug it to the port on your TBS tracer. The LED will go off and soon enough you will see that the TBS tracer will show up and the green light over there will go off. That means that the device is connected and you are ready to do the update if you of course need to. So go to the device details, go to the firmware and in our case there is an update that updates from 502 to 504. For each of the releases we of course can see release notes and in this case it fixes the dynamic power which is kind of let's be honest a good thing and after deciding that yeah we do want to update just click the update and update again soon the LED on the tracer and on the crossfire will change the color from yellow to green and the firmware update process will begin. Bear in mind, it might take a few minutes, so be patient. After the progress bar will hit 100%, we are done with the update of the transmitter module. You see, the tracer Micro TX is right now on the 504 version. After the tracer transmitter is updated, we can proceed with the process of updating the receiver as well. The TBS products have a possibility to update during the binding procedure. So let's go to the tracer TX settings and hit bind. And then all you have to do is power on the transmitter and the transmitter should detect that you have new receiver connected and will ask if you do want to install the update. Of course we do want to, so hit confirm and then the process will start and on, after only, let's be honest, a minute or two, you will be done. And that, my friends, is the whole process of updating of all the transmitters and definitely all the receivers for both Tracer and the TBS Crossfire. So, the procedure, just to recap of how to do it. First, update the transmitter module by plugging the USB-C and using the TBS Agent X to update the transmitter. And then... 
put the transmitter into the binding mode and during the transmitter being while it is a binding mode just power on the receiver the receiver goes into the auto binding on every power up and during the process of finding the corresponding transmitter it will just ask you if you do want to update if you have any problems you can do it in a slightly different way you can power on the receiver while holding the bind button and bind the receiver manually so first you power up the receiver with the bind button uh, pressed and then go to the tracer or crossfire and then hit bind this is in case any problem appears during the auto binding on the power up and that's my friends is all thank you very much for watching until the next one bye bye